this is gonna be a crazy video. Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today we're gonna be talking about and exposing all of these fake Cali bags that are just going everywhere right now, because in the UK, there is just a massive problem with fake Cali. Now, I'm gonna be going through a lot in this video. We're gonna be going through fake packs in general. We're gonna be exposing a store that sells a bunch of fake bags that you won't even see online, like proper, proper new bags, like brands that you didn't even think there were fakes of yet. We're gonna compare some fake bags with the real deal to see if there's any ways to actually spot the difference. We're gonna go through the price. We're gonna go through the most faked brands. We're gonna even talk about how you can kind of protect yourself and a lot more. So stick around until the end, because it's gonna be a wild one. But for right now, I think we need to go to a shop in London that sells a bunch of these fake bags, even some fake bags that, like I said, you would never even expect there to be fakes of. And like, just, it's gonna be crazy. Let's go. All right, while we're about to make our way to the bag shop, let me just explain what Cali actually is for those of you who aren't in the know. So California is a state in America where they've obviously had legal bud for the longest time. Like, you know, a good, what, like 20 years at this point? Could be more, could be less, but a long time. And essentially, the bud quality over there is much, much better than the bud quality over here. Now, I know a lot of people hear that and they'll go, but Drew, uh, the different location doesn't change what the bud can be you can have that same bud in this location yes technically you are not wrong right but practically you are wrong because that's just not how it works when somewhere is legal it means you can put like 10 times the amount of money in if not a hundred times the amount of money in to what you're doing because you know you're not just going to lose it the next day and lose all of that money that you just put in so you can put all of that money in which then will make the quality come out better now not only that but you don't have any of the risk of actually curing it so not only do you not have the risk of actually doing it properly, putting all the money in, putting all the time in, putting all the effort in, but then also afterwards, you can actually, you know, cure the bud and make it to like the best it possibly can be instead of having to rush it out and get it out as soon as possible. So the people from the land of California get it really nice and easy to get a lot of good quality bud compared to the bud that we get over here. Now, because of that, that sprung up this whole market in the UK where people will import bud from California to the UK and then obviously have it for a premium. Now, uh, People are also probably saying, but Drew, uh, how would that make any sense? How do people get the bud from, from there to here? Surely it would be really expensive. Yes, it would be really expensive because they lose packs all the time. And that means the price goes up because there's a big risk. You have to have a high profit margin because then when you lose packs, you have to have still made enough money that it still works out. Uh, not only that, but the bud is expensive in California. Like bud is not cheap in Cali. And yeah, you could backdoor it for cheaper, but it's still, we're gonna get into the price later on in the video. So I won't go too much into that. But essentially, I'm sure you can see where this is going because of this. People have a lot of these fake bags, but they'll put some mids in it, or maybe even something that's supposed to be similar to the real deal. And they'll have it like, you know, halfway in between a Cali price and a UK price. And they'll try and say, nah, this is the real deal. It's just cheaper than everyone else is selling it for. And it's actually just fake. So let's go to the shop and have a look at some of these fake bags. Okay, so I just pulled up. I don't know what the reaction is gonna be like with me filming with a camera. I've heard that it's calm to film in there. You can film the bags and they just don't care. But I don't know what it's gonna be like with a camera like this. So I'm gonna start with my phone and then uh, go onto my camera, which it's just like raining as well. God damn it, man. <laughs> this bag hasn't existed for like years. <laughs> So this box right here is just like the sample box. It shows all of the bags that they have in stock right now. So anything you see in here, you could obviously get a fair amount of. Yo, really quickly before we get into the rest of this video, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Professor Herb. Yo, Professor Herb are sick. They specialize in everything hemp, everything hemp. 
even that thing that I don't necessarily want to say on YouTube because sometimes you, YouTube messes you up for it begins with a C in the middle of it there's a B and at the end there's a D right you put them together and you get um, yeah they have some amazing quality over there on their website which is linked in the pinned comment down below and this thing I'm showing to you right now is literally just a hemp pouch right you guys know that I recently quit smoking cigarettes and you can get these little things that is literally just hemp and obviously you could use that to mix with your J's or just have straight so yeah big love to Professor Herb for sending me over this and sponsoring the video I've been actually seeing their products for the longest of time and you can get a discount with code drew420 at checkout so don't miss out on that link is in the pinned comment down below check them out Okay, I was expecting that to be quite mad, but I wasn't expecting it to be that mad. That shop was tiny. I don't know if I really want to talk about the name of the shop or give away that, because I really don't want more people having this problem. Um, so yeah, I don't want to inadvertently give them advertisement, but damn, some of the bags looking crazy. Some of them not so crazy. Let me just get to the bags, it's raining right now. And then let me just explain something that I thought was jokes. Okay, so that first box that I was going through was just like the sample box, right? Like that shows you all of the different packs that they have available there, which is a lot. Like some of them were, were doubled up in there, but this is what we, uh, we came out with. We got a blueprint bag. We got a Zio's bag. We got a bubblegum poppers. We got a Catialo by Nature Boys. We got a Doja. We have a Suave, a Mega Dark Z, a Tenko Wasabi in the new black pack, and a Tenko Blue Zushi in a black pack. Not only that, I also added in a, a Tropical Scalati for, for good measure. Now, the one thing I'll say right off the bat about these packs that we just got, this Nature Boys Catialo pack, is a better quality bag than the actual Nature Boys bag. <laughs> like, not gonna lie, but the Nature Boys bags are nice, like, don't get me wrong, right? But the material on their bags is actually worse than this fake bag. <laughs> so look, let's get back home and compare some of these bags with the real deal. Okay, so I've got all the bags from the shop here and I've got some bags which are real here. And we're gonna do a bit of a comparison here. And already I can say right off the bat, this is scary like really scary like back in the day the fake packs did not used to be this on point and for a great example of that let me take that suave right because we've got the suave here and where's my uh my real suave my real suave is here all right you can know 100 million percent that this is the real one because it's got a qr scratch off sticker on it like this is the real legit thing i had multiple of these you can scratch off, it takes it to the to the real thing. This does not have the, this is from that bag shop, right? Can you tell the difference? So this is the real one, this is the fake one. Like, if anything, they've made the shine so good and so prominent on this fake one, that if you were to see both of these like next to each other like that, you'd probably assume this is the real one. Like that's crazy. Like you can tell the, the shapes of the bag are slightly different. Like the sizes just don't quite match. Um, and for the most part on the front, the uh, the fake one almost does a better job. On the back, uh, you can tell that this is the real one. Like this is the real one right here. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the text on this, you can see the text on the back of this one is so much better than the text on the back of that one. That is pretty dead, and then that is printed beautifully. But isn't that one of the craziest things you've ever seen? Like, that is so on point. Like, you could so fall for that. Like, that is just unbelievable. Another one where you can't really tell the difference, this is the one from the fake bag store, and this is the real one. Um, again, I, I, this print on the real one, like this is from a while ago as well, like when these bags first came out, so I 100% know that this bag was real. Like this real one actually has a tiny little mistake on the print, where like you see the free, it like kind of comes out a little bit. Like that's how some of the bags come. But if you see the fake one that I got from the bag store, bruh, no printing error at all. So if anything, if you had these two bags and you were like comparing them, 
you'd probably think that this one was the real one. Again, the sizing of the bags don't match. Like these bags are not the same size and the, the, the edges don't curve the same way. So you can tell that they are different. There are little telltale signs. So next up, we've got the Doja ones and this is pretty on point. The actual real Doja bag is this one. This is the one from the shop. The real Doja bag is ever so slightly bigger than the fake one and the fake one's just thinner it's not as crazy thin as some of the ones that i've seen in the past but it's still like noticeably thinner like floppier talking about noticeably thinner and floppier though this blue zushi pack is almost pretty good but it's really not so this is the real one this is the fake one this is flimsy like this it like it feels floppy it doesn't it's too thin like this is thick like it stays nice and straight it doesn't like flop about like that like this one it's it, it you know it's like literally you know it's bending like that from from the from the band and that whereas this like this is noticeably really thin this is nice and thick and nice quality um besides that there's almost no way to tell except you can kind of tell from the bit that says blue on the back so again this is the the real one you see how that print on the blue is nice and then this is the fake one see how that print is just like not right and there's even like a shiny bit on the edge of the blue that just isn't there on the real one well there is but it's like really tiny like that you see that it's, it's really tiny but then this one like that's 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 a mess there are little ways but again these are these are pretty on point the sizing is exact it's it's really obviously the cut can be slightly different bag to bag anyways so that's really on point sizing wise it's on point it's just you would only know the difference if you felt these like even though i've been swapping these about from hand to hand and all that close my eyes and look and swap them and, and not really know i know straight away this is the fake one and this is the real one because they just feel totally different these aren't the same color are they i mean i get that they're slightly one slightly older than the other but these ain't the same color this is the real one this is the fake one that's not the same color damn that's so like that's crazy because in person it's really hard to tell the difference on camera you can tell the difference really easily so that's why i said that this is getting crazy because even with having the packs next to each other it's hard to tell the difference between the fake and the real one let alone if you didn't have that pack there for reference and especially if you've never seen the real one before and you don't know how the bag's supposed to feel like that is insane so look a real quick one we need to talk about the price i don't want to go too much into it because i obviously follow all of youtube's guidelines and i don't want to describe the uh purchase of something like that so that's not what we're doing we're not describing the purchase of something like that or anything like that we're just describing the prices uh, <laughs> which price wise you guys have to remember that if something is too cheap it's probably too good to be true right in the sense of cali is expensive there's a reason why it's expensive and that's because it's expensive in california you know like i'm not gonna go through specifics but you guys have to remember that there's a price on the ounce in california right then somebody in california has to sell that to somebody right that person is then probably sending it out to the uk right so there's already profit added on to them then the person buying it in the uk they're having to pay the drink on the person sending it out plus the risk because like we said things don't always land you lose a lot of packs so the the, the profit margins on it have to be bigger then after it's landed in the uk that's either being sold to you or it's being sold to somebody else if that's being sold to somebody else then they then have to put their price on top of it again right so it's very expensive it's gonna be expensive and you're not gonna be able to get it for crazy cheap like you know some of the packs that i see people selling which are obviously fake they're selling them for cheaper than it costs to buy in california that does not make any sense that does not work <laughs> so always keep in mind that if the price on something seems too good to be true it probably is so next i want to talk about the most faked brands because there's some brands that you definitely have to look out for number one right off the bat backpack boys didn't really show any in this video so far but there were some when we were in the store and they are 
everywhere even to the point where there are strains which they have never even made with bags for them like the people making the fake bags came up with more strains last year for backpack boys than backpack boys did themselves so definitely look out for them uh super dope right now is getting super super fake like <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> obviously that bubblegum poppers uh the mega z dark just yeah looking really really bad the zeos going really bad cali x has been really really faked for a long time and of course tenko like tenko especially with these new bags i mean tenko have always been faked but now that these new blue sushi bags have come about like the new black ones that's uh that's a real shame and also while we're talking about fake brands there's also some bags that i saw there today that like don't even exist anymore like the cali x bags that we saw in there some of them have not existed for years not only that but you know that japanese peaches bag the one which is uh like the little juice car and one the guys who make that heavy loads announced like yesterday that because of all the fakes they are discontinued it and any japanese peaches you see from now is fake 100 percent. and now that's literally what i want to talk about next because this is for you the people watching who own these brands because i know a couple people who own these brands are watching this video right now and it's what can i do right to stop this because like heavy loads has just done they've discontinued that bag made sure that for the next ones everything's all switched up and different right and Think about this that heavy loads bag is crazy it's like crazily shaped it's a hard print to pull off like it's a hard thing to fake like that and they've done it and the bag looks amazing i wish i'd actually copped one um just to be able to show it to you i'm an idiot and i didn't i didn't grab one but the bags are great right the fake ones are great i think the only thing that these bag makers can realistically do right now to stop people faking them is the same thing that cali x has just done you've got to put a qr code on the pack like you know a little scratch off thing that you can't fake right either that or you've got to do what uh qc farms did with disease and every time you bring out a new batch bring out a new bag with the batch like something different something that someone wouldn't be able to just think of every single time and know that this is going to be the next one so they couldn't you know guess it or whatever and have it in advance um it's the only way really because otherwise these fakes are going to tarnish your brand like people are going to put so much fake bud in these fake bags and people are going to think it's the real deal and it's going to be dead and then your brand is ruined so if you're watching and you own one of these brands and you're thinking ah, i don't need to do that you do it's going to affect you uh, like really badly now moving back onto the consumer side of things because i know i did just talk about the fact that like you know there's going to be a lot of bad bud that goes in these fake packs but there is a very important point that i need to talk about here which is that just because something's cali doesn't mean it's good just because something's real doesn't mean it's good and i've even had times where i've had some flour which is a hundred percent in a fake bag right but then the flower has actually been better than the brand is trying to fake. <laughs> Which is very funny because, you know, it's definitely not supposed to be like that. But it does happen. Now, in saying that, this is something that you guys need to take into account when you're getting Cali if you don't have a certified, certified link. Don't worry a crazy amount about whether it's real or whether it's fake, right? Especially when you're getting into it. Now, obviously, you should to a degree which i'm sure we've demonstrated why you should but at the same time the point i want to make here is that just think about the quality of the bud itself like if you don't really know what you're buying you don't really know where it came from you don't really know if it's real and you don't really know a reference for it then don't just get it because you think it's real right look at it first smell it first make sure it actually is some bud that is something you want right and it looks good it smells good and it's something you want because then at the end of the day even if it is fake well then the bud was still worth the price that you paid for it because you wanted to pay that price for it regardless right like that's the main thing just think is this worth the price that i'm being asked if the answer is no then fuck it whether it's real or not who cares you just said to yourself it's not worth the price so that's almost everything except for one last piece of advice i would love to give to you guys to make sure that you don't have issues with this stuff right check the brands online go on instagram find the brands that actually make this bud look at the bud on their instagram look at the bags on their instagram make sure number one of course that the bag is on point as on point even with the littlest detail right but even in saying that sometimes bags can have printing errors when you get a real one they might not always be on point like that there might be something that seems wrong when it's not and at the end of the day the best way to know is to just look at the flower and if you can see someone or a photo of it somewhere where you know it's real and you compare it 
hey, it's better than nothing, really. So this is the fake Cali problem in the UK. If you guys want to let me know in the comments down below, what is the most faked pack in your area? Like, what do you see which you would never, ever pick up? Because it just doesn't matter. Like, there's so many fakes of it that you just don't even trust even the most legit people. Like, what is that pack you'll never buy because it's just too faked? Let me know in the comments down below. People... I'll see you guys very soon. We're going to be live streaming later on today, um, probably 9 p.m. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but probably 9 p.m., maybe 11 p.m. Check my Instagram story. Follow my stuff on everywhere else. Links are in the pinned comment down below, along with the link for our sponsor of the day. Check them out in a bit. Peace.